This video demonstrates how to add a full Ubuntu desktop to a command line interface or CLI Ubuntu server. The reason for adding an Ubuntu desktop instead of an Ubuntu desktop is that the Ubuntu desktop is lighter weight. It will be necessary to update and upgrade the Ubuntu server and make sure it meets minimum requirements for a desktop. After that, it's easy to install the Ubuntu desktop. The outcomes for this video include verify that the Ubuntu server settings have the resources to run a Ubuntu desktop, update and upgrade the Ubuntu server, install a full Ubuntu desktop, and finally configure Ubuntu desktop settings. Requirements, the minimum, Ubuntu server 22.04 installed, a minimum of 2 gigabytes of random access memory for running the desktop, an additional 3 gigabytes of storage for Ubuntu desktop, and finally an internet connection. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. For the first step in updating the Ubuntu server, let's verify that there is enough memory or RAM and storage to make sure that this server can handle a desktop. If you are using a virtual server, it shouldn't be as hard to update the settings, but if you are using a hardware server, you may have to add some additional hardware. For random access memory or RAM, the minimum is 2 gigabytes, and to check that, go to System. And right here it says 2048 megabytes, which is 2 gigabytes. And if you want to change that, you simply get on this slider and move it to the right or type in whatever you want to put in right there. So we have enough random access memory. Click OK. So let's go check the storage out. Storage. I'm going to need another 3 gigabytes of additional storage. So let me click on Base Ubuntu. And it says it's got a virtual size of 25 gigabytes, and the actual size is 4.80 gigabytes. So we have enough storage to install the Ubuntu desktop. For the Ubuntu desktop, you're going to need a little under 3 gigabytes of additional storage to install both the desktop and the LightDM Display Manager. If there is not enough there, you're going to have to use a command line to get additional storage on this virtual size and that's beyond the scope of this video but I have made a previous video on how to do that so let's just click OK so if you're still in VirtualBox or another virtual machine let's up the display setting go to display and I'm going to give it all 128 megabytes of display memory click OK now one thing you may want to make sure the audio is checked also so let's go to audio because we are putting a desktop on. In this case, for this virtual machine, the audio is already enabled and enable audio output. Now you may want to check enable audio input. I'm not really going to cover this, but you can go ahead and work your way through this. Not that difficult. Click OK. After all the hardware has been updated, let's make sure that the Ubuntu server is up to date. So right here, I'm going to go to where the server is highlighted. Right click and click Start. Go ahead and log in. Well, let me uh, clear that and bring that up to the top. So once you're logged in, all you have to do to update this is sudo apt update and ampersand twice, sudo apt upgrade dash y enter your password do it correctly if you get a kernel upgrade screen go ahead and click OK now your mouse will not work in there so simply hit enter now, it asks you which services should be restarted. I would simply go ahead and accept the default. Simply hit Tab. That will bring you down to OK. And hit Enter. So now Ubuntu Server has been updated and upgraded. 
So let's go ahead and restart it. Do an init six. And log back in. Okay, once we've uh, updated and upgraded the server and logged back in, it's time to install the full Ubuntu desktop. Simply go sudo apt install Ubuntu-desktop. Hit enter. Of course, you get the password. It says need to get 818 megabytes of archives after this operation. 2,721 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. Type in Y for yes and hit enter. In the install, you will be asked for a choice on the Display Manager. LightDM is the default Display Manager for Zubuntu, so it's best to go with it. If you choose GDM, you may have to configure and write some dot desktop files for it to work. So I'm going to hit the down arrow for LightDM, then hit tab, and then enter. So after about 10 or 12 minutes, my desktop has been installed. And so I'll do a restart. Again, I'll use init 6, hit enter. So now the desktop has been installed and is currently being displayed. Next step is to configure and set up the desktop. To begin configuring the desktop, you've got to go ahead and log in. Then I'm going to come up here to the top left. And you'll see this little whiskers thing. And that's the application menu. Click on that. If I want to change some settings, like display settings, I simply go to settings, click on display, and in my case it says 1919 by 1082, so I use the mouse to kind of reset it, but I would like to have it exactly 1920 by 1080. I guess I can't do that here, but I can do that from VirtualBox. I'm simply going to close that. If you can't do it there, you can always do it inside VirtualBox. And where it says View, Virtual Screen 1, and 1920 by 1080. And then I'm just going to change it back. So it's, it's exactly there now. If I go back to my Whisker settings, click it again, Settings, Display, and this time it's 1920 by 1080 exactly. Click Close. And one of the things I want to make sure is that my sound is working, or the audio is working. To do this, I'm going to run a video from the default browser. So I go to back here to where it says Web Browser, and you'll notice no application selected. So basically, there's no applications in your desktop setting that you download to install on your server. So we're going to have to install one. We'll click Cancel, and I'm going to install the Firefox browser, so I'm going to go back up here to the whiskers, and then click on software. Two screens seem to come up. I must have double clicked it accidentally. And then I go over here and click the search, Firefox, and here's the Firefox web browser. Click on that, and then click install. Again, it asks for your password, and you notice that it's slowly installing. Must have a slow connection today. For some reason, the VirtualBox Guest Editions pops up, so I'm just simply going to close that. And Firefox is installed. We'll simply close that. And to verify that it's installed, we simply go over here to the Applications menu. And we enter Firefox in the search, and there it is. So once it's installed, we can go back to the Applications menu and click on Web Browser. And up it pops up. Originally, when I first installed Firefox uh, two months earlier, I had to actually make 
my own settings to get that web browser to load up Firefox. It appears an updated Zubuntu or updated Firefox does it by itself. So that's good. So now let's verify that sound is working. I'll be shameless. I'll go to YouTube slash Baba Rainer. Start. This video demonstrates how to install Ubuntu Server 22.04. So I've verified that sound is working. Now if I want to log into the server command line screen, I could use simply Control Alt and then F1 and I can log in there. If I want to come back to the graphical user in face screen. I can simply control alt F7 and I'm back. But keep in mind that Linux is a multitask operating system and in doing this you can log in more than one user at a time. So now I'm actually logged in twice, once on the graphical user and once on the command line interface. So we can shut down the desktop. One way of doing this is right click on the taskbar panel, log out, and shut down. So at this point, the server has been updated, upgraded, a full Zubuntu desktop has been installed, and hopefully you've configured your display and verified that the desktop sound is working. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.